Hello, Simon. Welcome. Hi, Dr. Sturm. It's so good to be here. Thank you so much for being part of it. You're not just the founder of Judy, but you're also a big, big supporter of the Mer America's Food Fund. Yes. Yes. And also, Barbara, I wanted to tell you, I did my mask this morning and then I didn't know whether I was allowed to do another mask. Could my skin take it? I wasn't sure. I keep putting on more mask and more mask. You know, this mask, this mask is a super healthy way of hydration, soothing your skin and just, you know, protect it from whatever is going on. So tell us a little bit about your work because this is so fascinating and um, you're doing such amazing work out there to uh, get people fed. And um, that's so important, especially in these times right now. So, well, thank you. And thank you for the opportunity to be here. And this initiative is so important. So for the last two years, I have been working on um, developing an emergency preparedness brand, which we launched three months ago, two weeks before COVID-19 hit the United States. So the experience has been surreal. Um, part of the development was learning about how we as a country react to large scale emergencies. So having worked on something for 18 months where they talk about these kind of worst case scenarios. And then now, of course, us all living through a pandemic, um, it has been kind of an extraordinary experience. But what we've seen in the silver lining is the resilience of our country um, and the sacrifice of our first responders, which is why I think what we're doing with your maskathon is so important. I mean, these people, uh, first responders, nurses, doctors are quite literally sacrificing their lives to keep us safe. Um, so it has been kind of this incredible journey learning about not only emergency preparedness, but also learning about first responders and the work they do. That's, um, that's really true. And it's um, something incredible that this um, was what you were working on because um, that's something we should have at place at any time for these emergencies. So. Um, really entrepreneurial work. Thank you. Yeah, it's, and you know, emergency preparedness is not sexy. I mean, prior to COVID, most people didn't want to talk about emergency preparedness in general, and which is why 60% of American families have no emergency plan in place. And there's two cohorts of people. Half the people think that an emergency is not going to happen to them. And then the other half of people think that an emergency does happen, there's nothing you can do to prepare mm -hmm. for it. And that's why the mission, our mission is to prepare everyone, you know, families, individuals, regardless of where you live for all emergencies. So yes, it's important to have an emergency kit, but the number one thing you can do is make an emergency plan. Who's your out of state contact? Have you practiced evacuating from your home before? Um, there are so many things that we can do to prepare ourselves. So when we are in an emergency, we know, you know, what's the first thing we need to do? Who's the first phone call we need to make? This is super, super interesting, super important. And I think that's totally true that no one really um, thinks about it because, um, you know, we're, we're not, um, you know, like, um, you know, we, we haven't experienced it like this, but um, how can we um, learn from you? Do you um, provide this education? Because it's about education again, and um, this is the time where we want to learn how to prepare in the future from those incidences. Yeah, so what we have is it's a free service. It's on our website, judy.co. Um, we have a text message system where we send you tips and reminders and videos, everything from Reminder to change the batteries out of your CO, CO2 detector. You know, it's hurricane season or it's wildfire season. Here are the three things you can do to prepare your family. Prior to starting Judy, I didn't even know if I had a fire extinguisher. And God forbid I had to use it. I would have no idea what to do. And I think there are so many Americans and people all around the world who feel the same, that they just don't know what to do when an emergency strikes or they think they have the confidence that they'll do the right thing in an emergency. And we know that people go through a state of almost emotional paralysis, you know, when an emergency hits and they don't have, they're not thinking clearly and, and they make mistakes. So that's why being prepared is just so vitally important. Yeah, it's good to have a plan. I would love to do a masterclass with you on this topic, if you would. This um, is super interesting and super important. Um, 
Thank Would you love so that. much. Thank you so much, um, Simon. This was um, really interesting, and um, it's a, it's a, it's a bit we should think about um, for a while. And um, check out Judy.com, and um, maybe a webinar or. Uh, master classes can help to spread the news. I would really be interested in uh, in doing that. We'd love Thank that. You so Thank much. you so much.